That's with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, Rockies third baseman, Josh Fuentes, nice enough to join us tonight. Hey, Josh, I wanted to ask you, uh, Bud Black seems like the ultimate player's manager, if you will. What's it like uh, playing for Buddy? And then what was it like seeing, getting, uh, seeing him get thrown out of the game the other <laughs> night against the Dodgers? But, yeah, Bud, uh, man, we love Bud. He's a... Uh, He's the kind of guy that you know he'll he'll walk around the game or uh, walk around BP and, and just kind of ask how you are and, and has your family and all that stuff. So he's uh yeah he's he's very well mannered or road tempered. But man, when you know when umpires calling bad calls, you, you gotta let him know and, and you know but let him know. And, and I, I think we all respected that. We we kind of like that. You know some uh, you know willing to go to bat for us. So, so that was cool. But. Definitely not like his usual self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird to see such a, a guy who's usually so calm and so cool and so relaxed. And then uh, when he goes, he goes, uh, I guess is a, is a oh, good yeah. way to put that. And it seemed like the other night was kind of a quick hook, uh, if, we're, if we're being yeah, honest. Yeah, it, it really was. Um, we, I, I think some of us wanted him to get out there and kind of give him that guy's face. But, uh, but yeah, it, it, it was a quick hook. Well, it's like if you're going to get thrown out, at least don't do it from the dugout. You know what I mean? Like, at least yeah, let the get guy out get there. out there. Yeah, make a scene. <laughs> um, and then feel like you got something to get thrown out about. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I did want to ask you. We didn't have time to talk about this in the show. Josh, when did you know that, that pro baseball was, was in your future? I know you played a uh, little high school football growing up and uh, mm -hmm. were a pretty decent pickup basketball player as well. When did you know that Major League Baseball was in your future? Well, to, to be honest, my, my very first kind of, I don't know, either inkling or, or kind of desire or feeling is, is when Nolan got drafted. When he got drafted, it kind of gave me like, I don't want to sound corny, but kind of gave me a little hope because, you know, it's like, hey, I grew up with this guy. You know, I've been playing baseball with this guy forever. Like, you know, if he can do it, I can definitely do it. I just got to put the work in. And uh, so that was like junior year, I think, of high school is, is when I really started to so like, you know, I'm going to work. This is what I'm going to work, and this is what I'm going to do. So, yeah, it was – so, you know, it was honestly no one kind of giving me a path right there. Does, it ever, does it ever get annoying to be Nolan Arenado's cousin? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think, you know, when, when, I don't like when they compare us, of course. Um, but, you know, he's, he's one of the best to ever do it. And um, – so you can't complain about that. Well, it, it helps <laughs> that you guys are so close knit too, as as yeah, an exactly. entire family. Uh, going back to making it to the show, man, it's a grind, especially in the minor leagues, and you know that having been through it. Was there ever a chance, or was there ever a moment where you're like, you know what, I, I don't know, man, maybe this maybe this isn't for me, because you had to grind a little bit in order to get to where you are now. Yeah, there there's there's definitely some instances for sure. Um, you know. It, there was a time in Asheville when I was like 24 and everyone was like 19, 18 years old and I was barely playing. And, you know, there, there was definitely some thoughts there for sure. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I, I feel I, I'm a man of faith and, you know, I just have faith and, and I trusted in, uh, in, in Dolores' plan that, you know, I was going to be a ball player and it worked out. Yeah, it, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, that phase paid off, and now Rockies fans get to see you uh, man in third base and turning web gyms uh, nearly every single night at this point. Hey, I, I always enjoy asking ball players this. Where was the worst place you ever had to play a baseball game? Because there are some rough minor league towns oh, on the no. schedule. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad for saying this but because uh, it's actually a cool town. But Savannah, Georgia, well, there were the Savannah Sand Nats, or the Sand Nats. I think it was the Mets organization, and it was hot, sticky. Nobody in the stands. The field was awful. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was a rough Savannah, man. Rough, rough place to play. All right, all right. Good to know. Good to know. Hey, Josh, this was a ton of fun, man. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, and uh, really looking forward to seeing what you and the Rockies have in store for the rest of the season. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me on. Hey.